What be Gucci fam? Your boy Judge J. Sama's in the building today and uh, we're talking about another Watch Dogs topic. So on today's topic we're talking a little bit about the usual Ubisoft downgrade of a lot of games. Now, I have, I, it's very debatable, very, very debatable situation. If you guys have come to any of my live streams, if you come to any of my discussions with anybody else in the Discord about uh, what games Ubisoft does well and what games Ubisoft doesn't, yes, yes, we can admit that the previous Watch Dogs did indeed have a graphical downgrade. Okay, we're, we're, we're willing to admit that, yes. Okay, now let's get past that, okay? Now a lot of people like to use Far Cry as an example. That's one of the quickest ones that people throw out. Then Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed is usually the biggest thing. People are just like, downgrades and blah, 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 blah. But you guys, some of you guys get a little confused with graphical get downgrades and game downgrades, okay? Now we can 100% say that Ubisoft is guilty of some game downgrades. And I don't mean like Rayman. Rayman gets amazing even more amazing every single time so let's leave Rayman out of it and then let's also leave uh, Splinter Cell out of it because Splinter Cell hasn't been made for a while since Blacklist so now we got a couple of things we got Rainbow Six Siege we got uh, Far Cry of course we have uh, Watch Dogs and we have Assassin's Creed so let's let's go with these uh, few ideas and with Assassin's Creed the problem with Assassin's Creed is it's gone from good better great eh terrible what the fuck and why even bother those in in chronological order are what happened with the assassin's creed games and as much as i'm a diehard fan of assassin's creed i really am i, I just don't see assassin's creed kind of flipping it and changing it around next year but there's no as far as i've seen there it really isn't much of a graphical downgrade for the assassin's creed games uh next up we'll talk about far cry Far Cry being one of the situations where there isn't a graphical downgrade, it's another game downgrade where uh, if you guys have played the first couple of Far Cry, I think the first Far Cry was a top down, the second uh, Far Cry game was only available on uh, really older gens, Far Cry 2 really shows its age, that, that was more like a PS2 game put on the PS3, like it was just, man, that, that, that game was just oof all over the place the it was super buggy uh everything was just really weird about it so you'll see a lot of people who play far cry now are just like oh far cry's always been amazing not if you played far cry 2 you must be new so uh, and then far cry 3 came out which was an amazing game it was just great storytelling great gameplay great mechanics and stuff like that then out of nowhere it was just like far cry 4 kind of took far cry 3 and just redid it a little bit put it in a new atmosphere which is okay because Far Cry 4 was great it was definitely a great game uh, it was enjoyable I had a lot of fun I never finished it unfortunately because I didn't play enough of it I still have it I just haven't gone back and played it um, and then you have Far Cry Primal Far Cry Primal is definitely a game downgrade compared to Far Cry 4 yes it's a cool concept cavemen you know uh, bows and arrows clubs and and training animals and stuff like that that's cool which also stems into the previous Far Cry titles as well as Assassin's Creed but we're not talking about the connections today um, but there's not really much of a graphical downgrade there you guys can't really like look at one and look at the other is it a worse game than Far Cry 4 yes it is because of all the missing content and the and the lack of actual like development that's in there they could have definitely added a lot more to that game um, but other than that it's no graphical downgrade now we look at Watch Dogs now the original Watch Dogs yes there was a downgrade from E3 to the actual gameplay um, to when the game actually launched which is understandable I guess you could say I can't really come up with an excuse why they would do that but it's something that they need uh, congruency or like parallel they need parallel games basically you can't have the PC version looking super ultra hyper mega amazing and then the PS3 PS4 well obviously the PS3 the PS4 and the Xbox one versions of the game come out and then they're Minecraft essentially like that that just wouldn't work that's a little too unfair so it's like okay maybe if we try to push the limits on the on the console version and then downgrade the PC version nobody will ever notice because they're congruent and unfortunately that is an issue because where a lot of people like to argue yeah sometimes graphics are not a big deal because gameplay is amazing if gameplay mechanics and everything works correctly is amazing I could care less about story and graphics I really couldn't I mean given story does help always but it's not so much like 
the core of it. You know what I mean, guys? As long as the game is playable. It's like when I did that Would You Rather challenge, and I was like, would you rather play a game that has great gameplay but a shitty story, or uh, a game that has an amazing story but shitty gameplay and it's kind of broken and the mechanics don't work? Obviously, I would pick the game that fucking works because otherwise I, there wouldn't be a game to play. There just wouldn't. So what? It has a shitty story, but I mean, I could grow to like it. I could grow to enjoy it. Is there multiplayer? How long can I play it? What type of game is it? So there's so many more factors there, but if a game is just downright broken, then there's no way I can play it. I just can't. That's like playing Naruto. That's like playing JoJo's. That's like playing any of these other anime-based games where the game is essentially broken. And it's like, the mechanics don't work very well. The gameplay is kind of trash, but the story? Uh, I can fucks with the story. I can, I can do the stories a little bit, baby. But other than that, I mean, it's one of those things where Watch Dogs 1 was a factor of, okay, we're running out of time, we need to get this game out. It was very ambitious. Watch Dogs 1 felt like a prequel. It felt like a game that had so many more immersive things to offer, but they just didn't do it. They needed to pull back. They needed to see how far they could go without overextending and doing too much. Watch Dogs 2, on the other hand, which has had so far no graphical downgrades whatsoever at least not that i've seen from the gameplay that was shown at gamescom to the gameplay that was shown at e3 it's usually pretty congruent so far i haven't seen any type of downgrades although i will say the gameplay does look a little wonky it looks like the camera angle is definitely it, it's, it irritates my eyes a little bit because it makes Marcus look super skinny, but the world looks super big and super vast and shit, you know? It's like looking through a little, uh, imagine if you were looking through a telescope, right? And the, the, the object of a telescope is to make a, something that's extremely far away look close up. And binoculars also do the same thing, but it also gives you this fish lens vision where whatever you're focused on is the most focused thing and everything around it is kind of blurry. Now. Uh, or, or warped, I guess you could say. This has that type of feel, that type of look to it, where it looks like somebody photoshopped something and they used the trim tool and kind of just shrunk the entire picture down, making Marcus smaller, but the entire scene still looks like, like everything around him looks uh, wide and spacious and congruent and everything. Everything looks great around him. He just looks super scrawny and super tiny. So that's the only issue I've seen. Other than that, there's not really a whole lot wrong with Watch Dogs 2, at least with the way it looks. I am a little concerning about the gadgets, the, the co-op, the, the story mode. A lot of that stuff I am worried about. But that's another video for another day. Um, that pretty much wraps it up though, guys. Let me know. I've dropped a couple of facts on you guys. I know it's a, it's a lot to take in within an 8 minute span. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. I want to know what your favorite Ubisoft game is so far. Mine is definitely Rayman. Next to Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. But, you know, I have a bias. So let me know in the comments section below. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. Make sure to hit the like button on this video. And I will catch you guys next time. Make sure to keep it canon.